UK probe detects highest level of solar radiation in decades. UK researchers have detected the strongest solar storm radiation at aviation altitude in more than 20 years, raising new concerns about aircraft safety. Scientists recorded the unusual spike after the sun released an intense flare on 11 November 2025, sending energetic particles deep into Earth's atmosphere and triggering a rare ground-level event, or GLE, a type of solar particle storm strong enough to be measured from the surface. Within hours of detecting the flare, the UK Met Office and its Dutch counterpart launched weather balloons equipped with advanced sensors to measure the solar storm in real time. The balloons climbed to around 12 kilometers, or 40,000 feet, an altitude used by fast commercial aircraft, and revealed that radiation levels had surged to their highest point in two decades, reaching nearly 10 times normal background levels for a short period. Krista Hammond, Met Office Space Weather Manager, said the data is crucial for understanding how space weather influences atmospheric radiation. Although the radiation posed no immediate health risk, scientists at the University of Surrey warned that stronger future storms could pose bigger concerns, especially for onboard aircraft electronics. Measurements showed that energetic particles could disrupt digital memory systems, potentially causing around 60 errors per hour per gigabyte. Airbus also recently cautioned that intense solar radiation can corrupt data essential to flight control operations, noting that a significant number of A320 aircraft currently in service may be affected. Despite the high levels recorded on 11 November, the event reached only about 2% of the largest solar storm on record in 1956. This was the strongest ground-level event since December 2006, said space weather expert Dr. Clive Dyer from the University of Surrey. Our sensors provided the clearest evidence yet of how fast conditions can shift at aviation altitudes, and we must be prepared for even larger events. Scientists hope the advanced monitors will help refine the UK Met Office radiation models and boost the UK's resilience to severe space weather incidents. The new sensors can withstand near-vacuum conditions and temperatures as low as negative 70 degrees C, allowing more accurate predictions of electronic errors in aircraft systems. Keith Ryden, director of the Surrey Space Center, said, Because these events are unpredictable, capturing as much data as possible is essential. This was our first opportunity to use the rapid response balloon sensors during a real solar event, and they performed extremely well. For more exciting science updates, don't forget to subscribe and engage with our channel so the content keeps reaching you.